Hey, this is Chris. We're here in the R&D lab of Curl Berkshires, also known as my basement. I'm going to show you how we put together a curling simulator slash practice area here in the basement. Obviously, there's no substitute for real ice, curling on real ice with real people. So this falls short of that in a number of ways, but and so the plastic we we use is just an eighth of an inch thick. It's a four by eight sheet of high density polyethylene. In this case, it's been stress relieved, so it lays flat. I can put a link in the bottom there to where we got our material from. Underneath is just three quarter inch plywood. Painted a curling house in there as, as much as we could. And when you lay the plastic over it, it looks similar to what it looks like on real ice. So that's kind of cool. Stone slide on the ice, which we'll talk about the stone in a minute. We just have some roller bearings cut into a piece of plywood. Next the sliding base. The stone, which is actually very close to 40 pounds worth of cement, slides on top of that. Two other sliders, one for your slide foot underneath your foot, one for your trail foot. So this is my imitation curling stone, and essentially what it is, a tractor tire filled with cement. And embedded in the cement is a U-shaped piping system. Just a simple uh, one-inch pipe and a couple of 90-degree elbows there and another one-inch pipe sunk in the cement. And that works pretty good. This, this, you get a tire that's about the right size for a curling stone, and when you fill it with cement, it's about the right weight of a curling stone. Underneath the tire, you can see the tire here. To hold the cement into the tire, our original concept was to make one that would slide on lake ice. So we actually took a steel pot, banged out a little section in the middle so that it had a, a sliding ring here, fit that into the tire, and then poured the cement in it and all around it. It didn't really work that well on the lake, but Works pretty good for our purposes here in the R&D Center. Once you put the stone on top of the slider, you have something that feels pretty similar to a real curling stone on ice. A foam rebounding pad, which is just a foam insert for a sofa cushion or something that you can buy online. And then, as we'll see in another video, we have uh, a sensor or camera there and a mechanism set up so that it can sense where the stone is and then project the image of the stone in a two-dimensional video just like a kind of a golf simulator if you've done that kind of thing but for curling it's just a piece of plywood and some two by fours cut into this shape it's elevated on each side so that the trail foot slider can slide under there. You're putting your slide foot on one slider. As you slide out, you're gonna catch this trail foot sliding piece with your toe, and that'll allow you to slide on that. So once you're in this position, obviously you have a broom, and you're just gonna make your curling delivery. kill yourself in the process. You're going to need a blank wall or a projection screen. Up here I have the uh, projector. The holes in the ceiling are optional. The projector will be connected, although it isn't now, but it will be connected to a laptop or a PC, webcam, or some type of camera 
mounted so that you can look down on top of the stone. Again, the stone is painted in two different colors so that the camera can sense uh, not just the position of the stone, but the orientation as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's a wrap on the first part of the video, the physical setup of the simulator. And uh, if all goes well, we'll make another video about the software and even the calibration routine to get the camera working and everything. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop us a note. Let us know. Thanks.